Got a little breaking news, got a little alert. Stephen Hawking just passed away at 76. Famed theologist, philologist, and other physicists, and other brief history of time. He died, his family said. Uh, yeah, the man that they used as a puppet for years said that he could talk through a computer. Um, yeah. He's been in a wheelchair for over 50 years, 60, something like that. And he could, you know, communicate through a computer with his brain. And he's supposedly one of the smartest men in the world. Probably prior to the accident, he probably was. Something happened before the Big Bang. Physicist Stephen Hawking suggests that he knows the answer. It's a whole new theory now. And Corey Powell from Discover Magazine has been looking at this. Nice to see you back. Corey, good morning to oh, you. Good to be here. So we got to go back 14 billion years. And yeah, you're, rewind the clock a little you're bit. You're a little dubious about his idea. What's his theory first? Well, so if you rewind the, the history of the universe, we know we live in an expanding universe. You go back in time. At some point, everything was all in one place. That's the Big Bang. And then the big question is, okay, so what made it go bang? What happened before that? And Stephen Hawking's answer is basically there was no time before the Big Bang. Uh, the time as we know it did not exist. There was, a, there was basically a time before time when there was a thing called imaginary time that was sort of all tangled up with space. You go back there, bear with me here, because this is going to be a great excuse for things like... It sounds, like, sounds like, infinite. Like why you haven't, you know, taken the air conditioner out of your window, you were living in imaginary time. Anyway, uh, you, go back to the, you go back to this moment uh, where basically there was, since time didn't move, there was no beginning. Uh, there was a sort of a moment before the universe existed, but... It didn't exist in time as we understand it. It sounds deep and it sounds confusing. <laughs> what does his theory do to those who believe that the Big Bang started? What does his theory do to those who believe in creation? Well, you know, Stephen Hawking all along has said that you know he doesn't need a creator for his for his story of the universe. Uh, it doesn't mean that there isn't a creator, just that he sees no place for it. Uh, there are a lot of other physicists who, you know, I, I, I talked to a, a cosmologist named Andre Linde, and I said, I don't understand this no-boundary proposal of Stephen Hawking. He said, nobody understands it. So I'm like, okay, if a big cosmologist is with right. me, then I feel a little do, bit more do, comfortable do being you, dubious. Do you understand it? I understand it at this level, and, and I, I was very relieved to discover that a lot of cosmologists understand it at this level as well. A lot of cosmo cosmologists feel like you can't have this this no boundary. You can't have this time before time. The time has to be infinite. It has to go all the way back, which I find comforting because, it, you know, look, our lives are transient. The news is transient. Yeah, but if the universe is immortal, that, that gives me a little bit of comfort. I think we need more than two minutes next time. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thank you, Corey Powell from Discover Magazine. Nice Absolutely. To see you. Alrighty, I just wanted to show you that this is not fake propaganda news, Facebook news, or was it? What should I say, Mark Zuckerberg fake news?
operations relentlessly seek to exploit our immigration system. I just come from a trip to the border where I met with our wonderful border agents, the Border Patrol and the ICE agents, unbelievable people, and reviewed prototypes of a new physical wall that will protect our border and protect our country. But that wall will stop so much. I will look at the different prototypes. And it was fascinating. And we have two or three that we work on. We have people trying to scale. We've done them everywhere. You know, we'll build them. I do best is build. Okay. And the president is blasting the liberal faction in California and their governor, Jerry Brown, and of course the very liberal mayor of Oakland for championing sanctuary policies that literally put criminal illegal immigrants before American citizens and their safety. Watch this. Now, if one American is the victim of a crime committed,